Listen to this. Oregon driver's licenses out of compliance with federal law, and it could mean bad news for you when you're trying to board a future flight. Welcome, everyone, to Coin6 News at 5.30. I'm Jeff Gianola. And unless Oregon can get an exemption, the state could have to come up with $16 million to fix this problem. Cor Harlan live at the Cedar Mill DMV with more on this mess. Cor? Well, Jeff, back in 2005, Congress passed what's called the Real ID Act, a measure essentially to shore up security of uh, agencies issuing driver's licenses. Well, today, Oregon is more than one of half the states in the nation that has still not complied with all the requirements of that rule. One of Oregon's major shortcomings when it comes to complying with federal rules for issuing driver's licenses, failure of Oregon DMV to photocopy or image source documents used to get a license. The legislature's fault for not appropriating the money to do it? Well, it's their decision. It's the, they made the decision in 2009. The state legislature's decision back in 2009 was to hold off on any DMV security upgrades until the legislature knew how much federal money would help pay for the new security rules. So far, none of that federal money is materialized, and Oregon's DMV now says it'll cost around $16 million over the next five years to get Oregon into compliance with new driver's license security standards. If and when we reach a point where Homeland Security announces a deadline and says, you know, at such and such a date, we're not going to accept this as ID for federal purposes. And the meaning of that would be when you go to the airport, you're going to have to go through a longer process to, to get onto an airplane. Holders of Oregon licenses are still a long way off from being singled out for extra attention from TSA agents at airports. And in fact, Oregon may even ask for an exemption from the federal rules because of things like facial recognition technology in Oregon's licensing process that sniffs out crooked applications. It's a powerful tool, Oregon DMV says, goes above and beyond federal requirements. And Oregon DMV folks are hoping that that's things like that facial recognition technology will allow them to get that exemption from the federal government. There's about 36, more than 36 or so elements uh, that are involved in these uh, new rules here. Oregon meets many of them, but not all of them. And if this is not a problem that is solved here in the near future, it could mean some very serious waits as you get onto airplanes. Live here in Cedar Mill at the DMV office, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.